that no doubt our concert tour in Japan in 2005 with the Monet Orchestra, the orchestra of the opera, the National Opera of Belgium in Brussels, with the conductor Kazushi Ono, himself also Japanese. And it was not only the concert, because we played so nice and beautiful concert in, in very, very big and nice halls, uh, with among others the Shirazade Ravel, with the beautiful La Flûte Enchantée, uh, song uh, of the cycle of Ravel, and but also my one of my old students for the occasion organized uh, some master classes and some recitals, and this was also really a very big event for me. They took care so good, so good, and so well for me, and also to let's say eat not only the food but also eat the the culture and the mentality of this very very kind uh, people. It was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I uh, had also another, but not musical, uh, very nice experience is having done a trekking for one week in the Himalaya, over 4,000 meters, between 4,000 and 5,000. For one week, no cell phone, no hotel. Uh, this was amazing uh, for me and I would love to do things like that again. Even I'm getting a little bit older, but uh, yeah, it was quite tough. Uh, not only physical, yeah, let's say only physical because uh, mentally it was so nice. I, I felt uh, very, very good. And speaking about the, the physical point of view, I think it's there's a link with the flute playing or with my being as a flute player. I think I'm quite a physical player. I need to do something. If I don't play the flute, I go jogging, I go tracking uh, because uh, I need to physical, physically be occupied and for sure the flute is a very physical instrument. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, my experience with uh, this kind of master classes is very different than a regular student you see every week, and then uh, but then you have to make a good development by the end of the year or the, or the the cycle. But in any case, I always have very nice experience with people who are passionate, who really want to improve and are eager to learn. So this is. To start off very very positive and i call that this a, a kind of flame which must be there i need that also um, and i think i have the kind of ability to fan this uh, flame uh, in order to make people even more enthusiastic on the other hand there are no secrets whatsoever so we want to we want to learn so I think I can give some skills in order to feel more comfortable and uh, you have to feel sure. It's, for me, it's very, very important to be aware of what you are doing. And then you will be less nervous and you will feel more sure. So that's I, even without being able to change somebody totally, it's impossible. It's not the, the aim. But I can think I can give some uh, skills to improve. And this improvement is for me really very important. I need to see on the end of the course quite important improvement. Otherwise, I will be angry with myself. Mm -hmm. Ever for me, ever since I was a teenager, uh, it was very clear I wanted to be a flute player, a musician. Music was, was my life. And so I, I can't compare. I can't, I can't compare. The only thing I know, you have to be passionate. And, and I also want to give to the, to the young people that passion is like a kind of snowball. It goes better and better. It's not by getting older that you you get less interested no 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 
the more it's like reading the more you read the smarter you become so the more you're busy with the with music with your instrument the more skills you you, you develop so so uh, but on the other hand yeah you need to be also a kind of uh, slave of your instrument you need to practice even if you sometimes you don't like it. And that's very obvious for me also but we have no choice we have to do it and that's why I'm whenever I don't take holidays I'm working 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 all the time all the time because otherwise I get nervous or angry with myself so um, yeah of course you need to feel good and now and again have a nice dinner a good glass of wine and uh, and even playing music it's not always practicing I enjoy to just enjoy myself to play partita back so this this gives this uh, good feeling so that's more or less what uh, being a musician for me for sure for me Anthony Sir Anthony Papano he was our chief conductor in the 90s in the Brussels Opera. Now he's chief conductor of uh, Covent Garden and uh, uh, Santa Cecilia, Rome. And this is one of the people who really fanned my flame. He always was inspiring from the very, very first moment. And I would, I'm sure uh, we would have a nice dinner because he's also normal man normal uh, human being i'm sure we can chat about many things of course a lot about music and um, but i would feel good with uh, with him i feel this mutual respect i've always felt and um, we played nielsen concerto together it was a very nice experience to work with him and to find the tempo justo 108 112 it it doesn't matter at all tempo justo can be 100 or 116 whatever but uh, that's ju just uh, Tony whenever he starts conducting uh, on the book uh, it's really a genius we're starting and some inspiration is, is coming but I think we would have a lot to talk uh, about memories of this nice over 10 years we worked together. For interpretation, I always say I'm not a composer. I don't feel I'm an artist. I'm just a flute player. And I try to read the text. Of course, making an interpretation. But by being yourself and really just play the best you can with respect of the text yeah you are a long way already so um, yeah that's most of, uh, of uh, and more and more my uh, in inspiration source and also of course reading reading about yeah a couple of days go I have to make a program for a recital yeah and uh, again, uh, Debussy. Then, and I read again for things I read already many times. And you, you, you start to discover even new things. So uh, read. The more you read, as I said already, the more you grow. And but also, I have also uh, other inspirations. Of course, uh, going to concerts. Recently, I went to to see the baritone or to hear the baritone. Uh, Georg Nigel uh, singing uh, the Schöne Müllerin, Schubert, but also uh, the Jakob Lenz, uh, it's an uh, opera, chamber opera by Wolfgang Riem. So it was very recent, very inspiring uh, moments uh, for me. So I think there are so many, you have to take um, initiatives to do something. I also remember a few weeks ago, I went to La Hague for an uh, exposition about Mark Rotko and uh, and then the connection with Morton Feldman etc etc so, so that makes you richer and richer and then it inspires you even without practicing you will you will be in, in, in inspired by uh, all this uh, 
events. So be eager to to live, to have experience. So as many as possible good experiences.